This crisis began in Wuhan, the capital city of China's Hubei province. It's home to 11 million people. The coronavirus swept the city, killed at least 25,000 people. That's what the government claims. Unofficial claims are much higher. It pushed uh, the city to a 76-day lockdown. China ended Wuhan's lockdown two days ago, and now the city is echoing a mixed emotion. Our next report brings you voices from the original coronavirus epicenter. Two thousand five hundred deaths, fifty thousand infections, and a seventy-six day lockdown later. Wuhan has re emerged from the coronavirus crisis. Trains are arriving at metro stations. The city's borders are open. And its residents can finally go about their lives. So what's the first thing the residents of Wuhan want to do after lockdown? Jiang Si's child took his first step in quarantine. Today, the toddler will be walking outside for the first time. Today is our first day outside since the reopening of the city. We want to buy some food to take back home for hot pot because it's been such a long time since we've had hot pot. And we want to walk with our child around the East Lake. He learned how to walk at home during the lockdown. Jiangxi is not the only one thinking of hot pot. 22-year-old Kai Kieng is counting down to the day when masks can be taken off in public. The day we can take our masks off, I would first eat hot pot with my friends and then drink bubble tea. At an empty shopping street, 49-year-old Lu Jinmin is thinking of work and noodles. I haven't gone outside during these 78 days. The first thing I want to do after the epidemic ends is to go back to work and earn money. Also, I'm missing Wuhan specialities such as beef noodles and hot dry noodles. Money is also a big concern for those who have to pay salaries. I'm going out today to submit the application for our company to reopen business. The first thing I want to do after submitting is to pay my staff and myself. We haven't had any income in the past two months. Then there are those who are thinking shopping. The thing I want to do after the reopening is to go shopping and eat out. I especially want to come out and play, since I was very depressed during the two months of lockdown. But not everyone is going to the mall for retail therapy. There are some who have gathered outside one of Wuhan's largest malls to protest. Shop owners are demanding a cut in rent. They say there's been no business since the virus outbreak. A lockdown was imposed on Wuhan on the 23rd of January. Now the Chinese authorities insist things are back on track, but their claims are riddled with holes. Plus, new challenges have emerged. Social unrest is just one of them. The threat of infection is another. Then there is unemployment and economic instability. So the reopening of Wuhan does not mean all is well. But fresh air is something that the 11 million residents of this mega city have been waiting for with bated breath. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.